Nigeria became a vibe <coughs> a few, few years ago. Wow. That's when all Girl. of your fave influencers okay. hopped on the Nigerian wave. Like, oh, that's true. I'm Nigerian. Nigerian flag. Let me throw that in my bio. Let me wear a car. So touch. One, your ma. If I go sus, don't rush. Don't rush. Yeah, 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 you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, seen to be at the uh, presidential uh, villa yesterday and he had a meeting with uh, President Mohamed Buhari. Do you think he conveyed the message the protesters are sending very clear to the president? I don't think he did. I don't think he did because on um, a day for yesterday when he came to um, when he came here for the protest, he came in a Balenciaga t shirt like he was coming and he was smiling. He could have gone to Suleri. Apparently, my guy lives in Alausa. So he could have easily have gone there. And I'm pretty sure that those people that were killed won't have been killed as well. But he tended to come here because his daddy, his sugar daddy, owns Toge. And I don't think like anything, I don't think he's doing anything. He's probably just indoors, like just laughing that, oh, the youths are here and you know, they're make, like, you know, they're doing protests, but let's just free them. I don't think he has done anything. I don't think he has done anything at all. And I believe that we should continue to do this. Everybody should be affected until there's a change. I feel like everybody should continue. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi guys, it's your boy Awam Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome and you are implored to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and also hit the destroy the like button so YouTube's algorithm gets to recommend this video to more people and they hopefully get to watch it and enjoy it at the end of the day. So today's video is a lot deep and I hope you understand. So I'm trying very much not to be so exciting and giggly and you know, all that burst of energy because I feel like this topic is so serious and a lot of attention needs to be drawn to it. Right now, the youth in Nigeria are calling to an end of police brutality in the country of Nigeria, um, where I am a citizen of. And right now, um, they are ongoing um, protests in all 36 states of the country. I'm not sure if it's all, but most, especially Abuja, Lagos, Port Harcourt, Delta, Plateau states, these are the states that I have seen a respectable amount of information coming out concerning the protest. So um, it falls back to SARS, and it's a unit in the police force in Nigeria that has a history of extorting, um, like sexual abuse, abusing people in general in various ways. Um, and people want an end to that unit. And the hashtag is end SARS. The government was able to respond and they didn't respond um, efficiently, in my own opinion. They went behind the scenes and created a new unit called SWAT. And I really want to make a joke right now concerning SWAT, but I'm trying hard not to make it. I mean, like, our own local version of CIA or whatever, but nonetheless, let's move on. So, Nigerians are also calling to an end to SWAT, right? SWAT is Special Weapons and Tactics Units. And people are like, you need to call an end to this unit before you tell us that you have spent money on logo, uniform, and whatsoever, right? Because this is not exactly what we want. What we want is a total reform of the police, um, like the institution in the country. Like a good tweet that will just pass this message across is Ozzy Otome tweet, where she said, "I'm just going to read it out." Um, to enter into the police system in Nigeria is to disappear. No database, no way to collaborate by eye weakness accounts. Um, policemen acting independently with impunity, making up charges. Someone gets arrested and their family never finds them again. Right? So this really highlights the environment and will I just say to work out on knowledge i don't have the proper words right now just the environment of the police sector in general like they are not equipped the most of them are not really educated um you can get arrested in the country without a court warrant they can just search your phone invade your privacy whatever they feel like doing to you they are also famous threat like we can just waste you here and nobody 
would um, know. And a very good joke that I've had over time now is, if you like, call Buhari, right? He can't do anything. And that is the case. And this protest just kind of highlights that because we have been protesting and people have been protesting in general and nothing serious has been done, only just a rebranding. And why people are still protesting even after the government has changed the name is due to the fact that this is not the first time the government has changed the name. The first time it was SARS, they later changed it to F SARS, right? And now they're changing it to SWAT. So you're changing the names, but nothing is happening. A good example also would just be um, NEPA is being changed to PKCN, right? So the change of names doesn't really help the fact that there is light, there is lack of electricity in the country, there's lack of good power supply in the country. And this um, police unit has really been a very negative has really been impacted negatively to um, the youth of this society. I'm trying to be very careful with my words here. So I feel not equipped to make this video, but I just felt like you have to do something, right? So in order to just explain what has been going on in the country, I would just react to people's posts or basically highlight um, tweets that I have seen really, that really craps what is on ground right now and just amplify them on my platform so that more people get to know about this and hopefully there is a positive change for the betterment of all especially the youths of the country so i'm just going to read some tweets that i have seen on twitter about like people's personal experience with sars and why it needs to come to an end apparently the elites in the government they basically have no idea that this is happening and people advising them also do not also experience this on a daily basis like these people. So for example, um, Femi Jacobs, um, they threatened to lock me up and change it for you in Ilupeju. I had to shout like a market seller on the streets to get people, um, people's attention. When people started parking and coming because I was shouting, they tactically withdrew and drove off. Maybe I won't be heard today. Um, hashtag answers. Then there's Stormy Thomas. Slept in iron building for three days. Battered, beaten, dirty, broken with hashtag with at King Zamer and at Brig LOS 2013. Traumatized. They almost wasted us on the spot based on dreads and tattoos that said we were ambrobas, that they will kill us, slapped us with the gun magazines and banana clips. Hashtag answers went to the Ministry of Justice to petition the case, spent days in that office in Alausa. No one had the time to process the documents at the office. Posting guys, I was in the neck, I was in the neck um, brace in bed for about three months in pain. Had to gin it all away and focus on fitness with Tomiwa. That was his experience and we have my Kudi um, at Miss Invincible. I was 16 when I was arrested by the police for walking on the road with two of my friends who were guys. They said I was a prostitute and the guys were my customers. My cousin was arrested by hashtag in 2016 for eating in the restaurant. They called him a thief and held him for two months without charging him to court or anything. Both times, huge amounts of money had to be paid even though no offense was committed. This struggle didn't start now. Anyone who says otherwise is a bloody liar. Another experience from at Inyoko Clemens. I was stopped by SARS officials on a bike with a cooler of food for my sister that had just given birth and was still in the hospital. They took my phone, searched it, um, said I was um, taking food said I was taking food to go and meet my boyfriend. First of all, is that even a crime? Um, another experience from at Queen Gifty underscore Gifty. 
they stopped my friend's car, asked us where we were coming from, and we told them that our friend had an accident and that we wanted to go and meet them in the hospital. They said it's none of their business, that we should open the boots. My clothes was there, they opened the bag and searched. My pants were there, they were touching the pants up and down. <laughs> Cocks gone for the other girls that told them this was a state of emergency. Long story short, we paid 36,000 Naira before we left the spot. People that had just had an accident a few hours ago. Um, from at Papa Chinde, I was coming from work on a Friday dressed in native attire. They gave us lunch at the office that I couldn't eat and decided to take it home. Only for Sars to stop me and keep saying I'm coming from and hello. <laughs> a herbalist place that the food inside my bag is a concussion and i'm just going to take the last one from this section at sudapo underscore ray 2019 sas stopped me and my ex-boyfriend after searching us they found a new pad in my bag and started asking me what i was doing with pad they delayed us for hours asking why i had always um why i had always always is a brand always ultra in my bag pad christian mark as a young lady ffs scrap this unit i beg Okay, so, and there have also been some reactions from Nigerian celebrities. So I'm going to read one from um, the actress, um, Genevieve Inaji. At Genevieve Inaji 1, we don't believe you are listening when nobody has been dismissed, arrested, and charged for the murder of innocent protesters and citizens. Accountability is the first step to change. Hashtag NSAS, hashtag NSWAT. So the problem now, again, is that protesters are protesting and the government would claim that they have disbanded this unit and they are now enforcing a reform. Um, we still have ongoing, um, ongoing, will I say, violence against protesters from security agencies. And this is really not encouraging in terms of building trust with the protesters that are on ground. And a reaction from FK Abudu. Um, so ha um, hashtag, she, she means to say hashtag, um, or just say hashtag SARS has ended, is trending. This is your handwork. We have only heard talk. Where is the action? Who has lost their job? Which, which police officer has been held accountable? They just changed the name to SWAT, S W A T, and we are not stupid. Let's get other tags back up hashtag n swat okay there's a picture here from at tola off our dear senators we are coming for your allowances next how much is your allowances once again so this is just in relation um to the discussion that people who are not meant to have or people who are in position of um, offices that are not meant to be let's say full-time job are earning more than um than the police force or people who work for the police force so for example in nigerian senators earnings the basic salary is 2.4 million hardship allowance nobody knows what that means um 50 percent of basic salary which is 1.2 million Constituency allowance, 200% of the basic salary, which is 4.9 million. They also have furniture allowance, 300% of their basic salary per month, which is 7.4 million. Why do you have to buy furniture every month? I do not understand. Um, then newspaper allowance. Mind you, newspaper in the country cost about 100 naira to 200 naira for a newspaper. And a senator, a Nigerian senator, Let's 1.2 million naira per month, right? And annually, a Nigerian senator earns 139 or upwards million naira per year, which is ridiculous. Consigning the amount of work they do is almost irrelevant. 
and again this is just to show you like massive turnout in Aosa and this is from at EIE Nigeria so for me at the end of the day what I would like to see is just a total reform of the police sector and when people say reform I feel like the message gets diluted what, what in essence people just mean is that the police force should be educated, right? Um, they should be told that they do not have the right to abuse people, um, check their phone without a court order, arrest people without a court order. And then again, like we should also make emphasis that our police stations are not equipped. There's no database once you've entered in the hands of police officers to locate you if nobody knows when you were taken or when you were arrested or illeg illegally arrested, right? To find you and notify or locate whatever um, and locate which police station you are is almost impossible because there's no data, there's no paper trail tracing you. And then again, people who are at checkpoint, there should be a database showing that, okay, Person A and B are here in this particular location for morning and evening sh um, evening um, shifts. So if anything happens in that location, those two people should be held accountable, right? And people, police in general, should stop doing stop and search in on um, on will I say certified locations, so locations where you are not approved to be from the system so that we can track where our police officers are and if anything happens there we would know that okay so so and so police officers are meant to be there so they'll be the ones to provide us with any information and if they commit any offense um you know who to catch basically because they extort a lot of people uh, they extort a lot of money from a lot of people and i saw randomly somewhere where um the extortion was a controversy was made up and said that this is another source of funding for um bad people in the police force um, in terms of like revenue generation because imagine if you're extorting in terms of like 30,000 50,000 from people every day every single day forcing them to open their um, mobile apps and um, reading um, alerts or let's say bank alerts on their text message and just making them to do things they wouldn't do otherwise illegally it's enough and yeah that is all I have to say for now. Um, I hope this actually passed a message at the end of the day. See you in my next video. Stay safe.